Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Mr. Torg, and welcome to the park. That's a new game just came out, and uh, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a go and see if it scares me. Uh, well, it's gonna scare me either way, isn't it? So, well, something's gonna make me jump. It always happens. So, without further ado, let's give it a go. in a dark room whilst wearing headphones it deals with subject matter to disturb some players. During the course of playing the park name Exactly. Yeah, I saw a picture for the park and it was creepy as Oh shit, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. it's creepy. So uh let's enjoy the story. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. And now we're playing. Let's see, Fetis. Bingo. Patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Oh, isn't that nice? What am I supposed to be doing? Ah, oh, there we go. <coughs> hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Well, he got through and I didn't. Callum, where are you going? Come on, Mommy! Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch me, Mommy! There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. <laughs> it's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, things have taken, uh... Oh, the park. Oh, there you are. I can run now. Here. Wait for Mommy! Callum, you're gonna get such a smacked ass! Stop! Callum! I can run for about five seconds and then give up. Callum, where are you? Well, slightly creepy. Callum, where ah. did you go? Over here. Uh, 
Oh! Callum? This way. Come to mommy, Callum. This way, mommy. Stop, Callum! Over here. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. What the hell? Come on, this way. I think this belongs to Callum. Chad uh. the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. So, Chad the chipmunk, worse than class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Callum? Stay where you are! Hmm. What's this? Purchase the land. Oh. What the hell? Where did you go? Come on, mommy! Come on, mommy! Where are you? Wait for mommy! Callum, stay where you are! Uh. Come on, mommy! Stop! Callum! Yeah, that's right, the swan. So, I came here to do it's uh, not a fun place anymore. Especially with Chad's song. I think you got derailed, sir. Hello? Come back. We well, can't come back, he's kind of floating, isn't he? I've got a rip in my jeans. I need some new jeans. <coughs> Where's the father of my son? Why isn't he here with me? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Oh. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they oh. pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, oh. the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to his house. Well, that's uh, creepy. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. The hell? 
broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. No. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Hmm. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Nice cheerful music. Its walls were made of gingerbread. And gingerbread? And windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, sugar. desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. I don't think you should eat people's walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Oh. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have Where's that creepy scroll gone? You. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. Oh. You see, nothing to fear here. Yeah. Come inside. The old Nothing woman urged, fear. and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Alan, where did you go? Alan, where did you go? Oh. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel, Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Oh. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, yeah, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. She should have Today, just waited outside. I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Oh. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward. Into the oven. Showing that witches Gretel should never mess with large kids. Giant bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Ah. Cannibalism. Now where's that little shit of a son? Oh! Hi Mr. Duck! Swan even. Is this swan or duck swan? Yeah. Callum, you're getting such a smack. Do I get off it? No, apparently not. I don't want to go again. Yes, I've had enough, thank you. That ride with Mr. Squirrel was not very nice. Stop hiding, Callum! Hello? Who whispered then? Hansel and Gretel. 
I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own go. parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking oh, for the God. sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Come out, sweetie! This way. This way. Don't hide from me, Callum! <laughs> oh, look at me, one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Wow. I haven't heard Hansel and Gretel for a while, I must say. Not something I'd say to my two little girlies. Well, not yet, anyway. I know. It's fairy tales were supposed to... Well, originally they were supposed to scare kids. But... Oh! Mystery machine's here. Another accident. This place. Oh, what's happening now? Hmm? What happened? Well, Teddy Bear got stabbed in the eye, so. Mommy is coming, Kelm. By the way, guys, I would read every single note, but uh, I am. I'm not going to do it. Hello? Callum, where are you? Catch me, Mommy. Catch you? Whoa. You'll be my son when I catch you. You'll be told off. Callum! This way, Mommy. Oh, ooh, it's getting louder. Stay where you are! <laughs> this place is huge. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. And only one little duck came back. Ah, oh, kitty nursery rhymes when given a creepy overtone is, uh, war. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Oh, examine the report. What happened? The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Oh, 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 Mr. Check Monk. Callum, where'd you go? <laughs> you on the right, Callum. Callum, come back here right now. Come out, sweetie. I can't get on while it's moving. Way. 
What creepy things are gonna happen with my Oh dear god. Oh, hello! Such fun. Come out, sweetie. This way Treachery way. hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. Mm. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, oh. all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. It's gonna get closer, isn't it? No, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I, I knew that was going to happen. It still got me. God's sake. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. <laughs> Callum? Alright, what the hell are you going to do? You're going to move or something, aren't you? I'll get close to you, you gonna do something? No? No? Alright. Not chasing me or some weird thing? Huh? No? All right. Come back, Callum! Wait, Callum! Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Hello? Yeah. Come out, sweetie. Ooh. Oh, I can move this one, can I? Why can I move that one? Uh, um, yeah, I can. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Oh, this one's lights on. Obviously wants me to go look at it. What's 
sort of Alan, why did you go? Don't be afraid. Alan, where did you go? It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, oh, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Why is Callum turned into a baby? So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Oh. Where are you, Callum? Why we tried this when we're looking for our son? Son, baby. So what could possibly uh, happen this time? Then? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. <laughs> After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, Creepy. he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh, Christ. Well, that's why there's no father. I take back what I previously said. Uh, nothing happened that time, huh? I haven't seen my son, just a baby cries. Oh, you again, eh? No, he's let me off. Mommy is coming, Callum! Stay where you are! Sounds like it's coming from over this way. Oh. That must be the thing that fell. Yo, 
You missed. Well, there's one up there. Oh, yeah. That one. Don't be a lot afraid. of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... Oh, God. We all go insane. This woman's Any parent who pretends issues. otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Okay. Where are you, Callum? Callum? Callum! Stay where you are! Okay, well, that's all we have time for for this one. Oh, things are uh, building up quite a bit. Um, I'll try and get another one done, and hopefully maybe get it uploaded at the same time as the first. But, uh, we'll see. This is, uh, interesting, if anything. Oh. I've been your host, Mr. Talk. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.